this comment says until they are infected with diseases they will reset their brains how did fella and his haram of women die plagued with diseases good for her that's a comment somebody left and that kind of that kind of like got me like okay i know it was in the news then they said fella died of aids hiv and uh, you know but i never heard of any of his wives dying of hiv hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so um the other day i shared a video i uh, discussed the interview by yenny kuti who is one of the, the the children of the legendary fella kuti and in that video i was talking about the interview in which he she was with um today and in that interview she said she cannot leave her husband for any woman even if her husband is cheating she cannot leave her marriage yeah something like that she said she will not leave her marriage if her husband even if her husband is cheating so i addressed that video saying and she said it. she said that is for her you can do your own uh, you can choose to leave but this is her choice she's not going to judge you for your choice and uh, you shouldn't judge her for her choice so i discussed that and i said it's a nice thing she personalized it she's not telling you don't leave your husband she's saying that's what she would do so, and in that video i actually said you know it's nice if we don't judge women that actually do walk away because unfortunately our society will frown at women that walked away and say, oh, you know, you don't last for husband house. They don't care why the woman left. You understand? So I kind of discussed all of that. And even in that video, I said, you know, we forget the different angles of this cheating of a thing. A man can cheat and keep cheating and keep coming back home. But some can be cheating and they found one lady, cheat and fall in love and never come back. So that he's still my own, he's still my own, even if he cheats. He can end up becoming somebody's own because sometimes test driving is how people will be like, ah, this is the one I prefer. It happens that even the name of okay is still mine. It may end up not being yours because it's, it's tasting from left, right and center. And I spoke as well about the aspect we do forget sometimes about, I talked about STDs and there are different kind of STDs. It doesn't have to be AIDS or, you know, HIV. There are other ones that are not necessarily life-ending, but there are some that are life-ending. I discussed about it all and I basically, personally, I've never been a fan of giving the man, you know, a license to say whether you cheat or not, I'm going to be here. I feel I feel like if a man hears that, it's almost like almost like a license to cheat because it's like, oh, there's not gonna be consequences. Do you know what I mean? She's not gonna leave, he's not gonna end my marriage, I'm not gonna do you know. What I mean? But anyways, a few comments that got me, but it was one I couldn't find, you know. But that I couldn't find. I went back to my comments and tried to go through them. I don't even know if it was a because you know when I post my video, I share it or with my friends on Facebook, I share it on Instagram, I share a community tab. I was trying to see if I could if I could locate that comment. So that comment was basically saying something like it was one comment that said, ah, like you know, or it's really disappointing to hear it coming from Yeni Kuti. Considering that fella, her father died of HIV. And there's another comment, let me see. This other comment, I was able to screenshot this one. The person first said, there's HIV and AIDS. And then said, we respect her decision. Basically, it's her choice, but let's not forget that there's HIV and AIDS. And this one said, when someone grows in a polygamous home, it's by God's grace and determination. They say, I want to do what my father do or what my mother goes through. If not, he or she will see right thing in wrong thing. Okay, that the way the person said it, but it basically means that something may be wrong, they will see it as right because that is how they grow up. For them, that is the norm because they grew up. Because she said in that interview, Yeni Kuti said in that interview that my father had 27 wives and my mother did not leave. And I actually said it. And I said, I said, that's why we as women have to be careful, you know, what we tolerate. Uh, because our daughters will end up thinking, okay, that's okay. My mother did it. You know, killer. You know the same way they say, uh, uh, um, we talk about women that walk away from, <clears throat> women that walk away from uh, domestic violence or whatever, and all of this. So people will say, our mothers before us did it. Our forefathers did this. Why is it different from this generation? But I've made videos which I said that, you see, our mothers and mothers, mothers before us, there were so many things they endured. There was not, there was no such thing as living best life in those days. <laughs> Your best life is your husband's life. As long as your husband is happy, your children are happy, you are in the, how do you call it, how do you say it, the back burner. But this day and age, and this is what anybody would, any, uh, what's it called, anybody that means well should tell you, is that best life is not only for others, you too should have a good life. There's only one life. There's no reason why you shouldn't have a good life too. And sometimes, in a lot of our societies, women completely bury themselves in the background. No, no, nothing that is for them. We have to make our children happy, our husbands happy and everything. And then we forget ourselves. And then what are we raising? Another generation of daughters. 
that we wanted them to have a great life but they will grow up and be like us you know and end up putting themselves completely out just to make sure every other person is happy let's do it in a way that we can all win husband will be happy wife will be happy children will be happy right going back to this um uh, going back to this right what was i even reading oh yeah and um, so i was just saying basically forget about even the faithfulness aspect of it the same thing for women that stay back and let their the men use their hands on them if you know what i mean you're telling your daughters is okay and you're telling your sons is okay too and they can end up growing up and being the next generation of men that lift their hands on their daughters and your uh, I'm sorry lift their hands on their wives and your daughters will be the next generation of the women that will be recipients of that and say my mother endured it you know son so this can actually apply in all other aspects of uh, um, you know uh, what we make out to be as if it's okay <laughs> there's this comment this comment says until they are infected with diseases they will reset their brains how did fella and his haram of women die plagued with diseases good for her that's a comment somebody left and that kind of that kind of like got me like okay i know it was in the news then they said fella died of aids hiv and uh, you know but i never heard of any of his wives dying of hiv i never heard but i decided to actually start googling and i was i was googling it led me to a video in which uh, i think it's channel television let me find it interviewing Shehu Kuti and Shehu himself said it I lost my dad and mom to HIV if you don't know Shehu Kuti is one of the children of uh, uh, Fela Kuti he said I lost my dad and mom to HIV AIDS Shehu Kuti I never to be honest I never heard about you know Fela's death was popular it was a big news then I was still very young but it was big news then that uh, you know Fela died of AIDS HIV it was all over the news I never heard anything about any of the wives until this made me go looking and I saw that even the son, Shinkuti, said it. I lost my dad and mom to HIV AIDS, right? And then to even think of it, right? This year, Nikuti, even the two days interview she granted. I only watched the cut out uh, parts of it here and there. I didn't even know that even the HIV was discussed. And uh, let me just read to you guys uh, what uh, she said in uh, the call. Daily Post said it. Why my, uncle and, uh, why my uncle announced my dad, Fela, died of AIDS? Yenikuti. Yenikuti, daughter of our Afrobeat uh, pioneer, Fela Anikulapo Kuti, has revealed that the decision by her uncle, Dr. R uh, Ransom, Ransom Kuti, to announce that the late singer died of AIDS was initially rejected by them, the disease, uh, the, them, the disease children. She said they later accepted for their uncle to make the announcement after a series of persuasions from family members. Negene disclosed this in a recent chat with media personality today, you know, she said, she, if you read on, I don't always read all of it. You can always go to the platforms I mentioned and read it, the um, news uh, website. He said, I, I remember we, that's her speaking, Fela's children, eh, right, had a big fight with our uncle at a time. They had already diagnosed Fela with um, AIDS at the hospital. We quarreled with him. The whole family started talking to us. It's not good to lie. People are still going to discover. So reluctantly, we agreed. It's a, a lot of read. You can go read it. To be honest, when I made my video, I even, to be honest with you, I didn't even think about this aspect of it that, you know, her father died of AIDS and all of that. And then, honestly, it's actually quite surprising then that um, somebody like her father died of AIDS, you would think would be more like, oh my goodness, I don't want, you know, unfaithfulness because it's dangerous and you know what I'm trying to say. But what I want to say is this, right? For those women, you know, that now okay i don't she didn't say she never said she's giving her husband or permission to go and be unfaithful she only said if he's unfaithful she will not walk away because of unfaithfulness i personally would say saying something like that publicly is like a license to a man even the men that know that if they are, you caught them unfaithful there will be war still some of them still go and do it not to talk of the one that has been told basically that unfaithfulness will not spoil the marriage do you know what i mean but i feel like it's a free world, you know, it's a free world, anybody can make their choices, but I just feel like any woman that has that kind of an open relationship where the man can go and come or whatever, the best thing I think such women should do is maybe completely be wearing their protection. Although there are some things that Robert does not solve, don't forget there are some things you can collect from mouth and different, whatever, anyway. Uh, I just wanted to say, you know, all the same, any woman that decides that it's okay, my husband wants to be unfaithful, he's not going to end my marriage, I will stay here and whatever, whatever protection 
they can whatever is in, is in, is vital vital for them to go out there and they plan whatever protections they can get for themselves nobody knows who an unfaithful man may be mingling with and what they may pick up and bring home um i think that's all i'm gonna say in this video as always whatever your opinions are please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm gonna say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye